So we go to view and we see a small tweak here, which is macro. Now what exactly is a macro? Macro are automized functions, which you can create for yourself by yourself to automize the routine tasks, which you do on a daily basis, right? Something which you want the computer to do by itself, something which is routine in nature and you have to repeat it on a periodical basis. Macro will do it for you once you actually tell the computer what is required to be done. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to type A, B, C, D. Did you see? Right. What if I want the same task to be done by the computer? Right. I want to do it. I'm just explaining you a very brief and very small thing about macro. Okay. So I want to add a small a here, one here, then B two, then C three, right? A very small, no calculations, nothing. I'll just explain what macro actually does, right? So what I do is I go to macro screen here, right? And I got two options, view macro and record macro, right? Let's leave the view macro for a minute. Let's go to record macros. What I see here is it asks me for a name. So I'll just say work one. Okay. Now from here on, when I press OK, you do not have a time limit with you, right? Whatever you do, be calm, be patient. Whatever clicks you make, wherever I take my cursor, wherever, whatever click or whatever keyboard I press on, that key, that function will be recorded by the computer within Excel. Make sure within Excel, right? So if I go to cell A1, I type A, then in B, I type B, C, I type C, D, I type D. I go back to A1, in A2, I type 1, then 2, then 3, and 4. As simple as this, right? Now I go to macros again and I stop the recording, right? Nothing major. I'll just select all of these and I click delete. Right now, what happens here? I go to A1, I go to macros and I say view macros. Right now I have this macro, which I created macro one, right? I click on run and simply those same processes are now put here. Computer has typed them for me. Right in a same manner, in the same manner, I'll just explain you again how to create the macros. I go to uh, record macro. I create work too. When I click OK, now everything which I do will be recorded. Right. So what I do is I select entire piece. Right. Now I go to home. I format it as Georgia. Right. I make the size 28. I turn C and C3 into yellow. I make D4 red and that was it. I just go and press on stop. Right now, what will happen is if I just revert all of these back to their original things or any, anything, I'm, I'm just, this is a specific format, which I wanted to go through. So if I make them these and I make this size eight, right? Now, if I go back again and run work two, right? What will happen? Same formatting will be applied. So what have we learned here? Uh, whatever things we are inputting to the computer, whatever functions, keys, mouse clicks we are doing, computer is recording that and repeating it for us. So I'll explain you how to read the code now, right? What we did in work one, whatever steps we undertook, are now going to see, we are now going to see the code for it, right? So this is the code that is created. Sub and end sub is like the start point and the end point of a macro, right? Don't get mesmerized with this. Don't get uh, scared with this. This is simply a VBA code, which I'm going to explain and simplify for you. So relax and enjoy. Sub is the starting point. N sub is the ending point. This is like a syntax which you need to input, a mandate, a talking language which the computer understands. Work one is the name we gave to that macro. 
right? And work one brackets open, bracket close is again a syntax. So if I change the name here, the chain name will also be changed there. Let's try doing that. I'll make it work twelve. Yeah, we'll go back and see if the name changes. Now, anything which I starts with this particular comment box, this is this is a comment. So a uh, apostrophe. If I type anything with an apostrophe, it becomes a comment, right? So if I type anything here and then I press enter, it becomes green, right? So whatever I type here, hello world, the basics of computer. So everything, everything of this type is only a uh, comment it has no impact on whatever code you type next right and then we have the code so as you simply saw that uh, range a1 dot select we have we selected the a1 cell and active cell dot formula rc1 uh, ar1 c1 is equals to a so in cell a1 it typed a similarly in cell b1 it typed b in cell c2 it typed 3 right so this is how the code looks like for the simple macro that we created now coming to the work to macro wherein we conditionalized or formatted the respective task the respective c3 that we made yellow and everything so range a1 and d2 uh, we selected the range with the range there are the number of properties which we can change right here right so the font name we selected as georgia font size we selected as 11 right what will happen is whatever i type here the code will be modified accordingly these are all the properties of the font which you can change right once you record the macro you don't have to learn this code remember what i did i didn't learn the code i did that formatting here while recording a macro and the excel itself gave me this code which i can customize further according to my needs right so you do and there are other tools as well where you can learn these codes those codes you can find on google and multiple places like stack overflow is one of the websites which i use task me to save the mac uh, workbook of course i'll have to save it i'll take it to ymc whether to try one right so this is a very important step guys i'll just explain what happened here while saving the particular file i chose the option as excel workbook that is dot xlsx whereas for macros you have to save it as xlsm macro enabled workbooks so that's why it threw me an error that i have a macro which is listed in this particular sheet but i'm saving it as a normal excel file if i save it as a macro free workbook all my macros will be lost so i'll click no i'll go here i'll select the option of excel macro enabled workbook and i'll click save now my file is saved and my macros which i created within this file within this workbook are saved in the same i created a new sheet see in sheet 2 if i do it for you it will come as black that's the beauty of it I go to A1 again. I go to View Macros, and I run the second macro now. Right? This came here. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out the description for further details about our Facebook page, our website, and don't forget to share this useful content with your friends and family. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Yuja Mascot Consultancy Hub. If you wanna become the part of our WhatsApp group, please. mail us on the email id mentioned in the description thanks everyone until next time